presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Al in Homosassa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Uh, isn't it wonderful? This gentleman here with the gold report, right before the market fell apart, ended up with PAAS. We had a 98% gain in a year. And, uh, I mean, we weren't 99% proof like Irish whiskey, but we had a good gain there. You always told us to do what we feel comfortable with. And if I lose a little bit of money on the table, I will, but I know that I just pocketed eight or $9,000 in two weeks. That's a beautiful thing, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows up. Everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great night, folks. Don't make assumptions. Ask for what you want. Find the courage to ask for what you want. Others. Others have the right to tell you yes or no, but you always have the right to ask. Likewise, everyone has the right to ask you for what they want, and you have the right to say yes or no. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 386, Nasdaq's off 78, SPs are down 38, gold, gold contract up $1.60, trade to the price point of 17.2250. We have silver up 15 cents, $20.70 an ounce, light sweet crude. Up 72 cents, $88.49 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. A 10 year note down 17 ticks, trading at a price point of uh, 111.31. The 30 year down 15 at 126.10. You get the 10 year right now yielding 3.82, folks. The high has been 3.94, so this thing's going topside once again. And King Dollar, King Dollar's going topside also. King Dollar is up 1,052 ticks, trading at a price point of 112,261. The euro is at 97, the yen's at 145, and the British pound is at 111 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. Well, what we have out here, you know, which I said in the update, um, is that you have the, the SPY actually um, weaker than the NDX 100 today. So bottom line, you're going to have a failure in price and volume. Jobs numbers coming out tomorrow. We're in an ABC structure down. It's comp. Well, it's, it's a different C point now, but the bottom line is that this thing's going right after its lows, man. So we're at 373. You know, if we look back on Tuesday, uh, you had done 103 million shares. Yesterday we did 88. Didn't hold the high. We'll see whether it can get to 88 today. It doesn't. It, it's going to be close. You can, you can get to 88, but I suspect you're not going to hold highs. You know, well, we're down three dollars and ninety cents right now. If we go to the NDX, you'll see that the NDX is a little bit stronger. Well, here, let me, I'm going to go back to the futures. Let's go back because you can see it in the E-mini futures. That's what's going on. So if we take a look at the E-minis, what you're going to see here, bang, bull us out. You know, your benchmark here was the low that was established this morning at 10.30. You can see that low, that's 37.58. Well, we broke it, and we broke it in the E-minis, e and that's a high volume low, so it's gonna go back to 37.50. We're at 57 right now. More, we can see the close coming right into actually two days ago, so we'll see how this shakes out, but um, now keep your eye on that, meaning the, the 37.65, well, 10.30 in the morning, and I'll show you what the difference. This is where you're gonna see it. If we bring up the NQs, the NQs, are trying to break it. That's what they're doing right now. They've come down there a few times, haven't have enough juice to break it. You know, we take a look at it. You can see right here, we're talking about that low has uh, 20,000 contracts. The last time we came down, you came down with only 12.9. Now that being said, what has happened is this. This has been happening all day. It doesn't have enough to blow this out at this particular point. This is building cause. We've had 20 minutes of cause right now, and we'll see what happens coming into the close. Because what you can see is every one of these downdrafts, that's where the, you know, it spike is up a little, not a lot. It's not a lot, you know, but I suspect because, then this is what gets cool, folks. Because the SPY and the S&Ps and E-minis already broke it, your probability goes much higher that the NDX is gonna break it also. 
You know, that's that's just how it moves, man. Particularly because of the the NDX has been continually much weaker. So when you see an anomaly like this, okay, when I say much weaker, and I'm talking about, you know, going back for quite some time now too. When you see the anomaly, bottom line, that's all it is, an anomaly, and when it comes in, bang. I mean, it's gonna hit when it comes in. We go to the gold contract. We look at the gold contract. Oh, we have a gold out here. Gold hit a low out here today of, uh, where are you? We hit a low of 17.14. You're at 17.21. You know, this is acting good. This is particularly acting good because of the uh, dollar. You know, we'll see what it can hang. It's, it's hanging here right now. Uh, notes and bonds, we take a look at the note and bond market and uh, bottom line, they also want lower price. You know, this is gonna be pretty intriguing watching this whole thing shake out. You can see the 10 year, if you wanna see this sell, look at that, look at that spike, man, uh, 10 minutes ago. 60,000 contracts is going into the swing low of 25,000, you get a monster seller right there. This, this, yeah, it's a monster seller. If we go back into the dollar, we take a look at the dollar, the way the dollar is set up, is that, you know, what you just did out here today, you're showing today, once again, you know, let me just pull this. You know, we came down hard in the dollar. You bounced around yesterday, but today, again, you broke the downtrend right from the high, from the uh, 114.78, you know? So the bottom line is that, this is this one here is about a 7.8 a to B, which is going to get you into the 117, 118. And then if you do take a look at it, you got to remember there's only one swing point. Well, there's two swing points left. There's there's one at 121. If <laughs> if whoever goes to the other one, it'd be insane. So the, the one, there's the one at 121. And there's nothing in between it. So I suspect more than likely what we're going to see is that you're going to probably get an ABC up. You know, well, first off, we'll see what happens at the high. The bottom line, if you run into that high, if you do have a wide price spread coming into that high, that's saying, guess what? That thing's going to 121. If that's going to 121, man, you better get out of the way because that, <laughs> that is going to um, no doubt put huge amounts of pressure right across the world. You know, and if you want to see this, this is, yeah, you know, it, let me show you this, because what is happening now is that when none of us were really around, um, well, some of us might have been around. Larry was around, probably, for sure. But I'm going to bring this back 50 years. And look at this spike. That was the spike in, well, we were around, but it wasn't, 164 and the dollar, well, yeah, no, I was around, in 1985. I just don't remember that. That's the bottom line. Um, you know, <laughs> I can't picture it hitting there, but hey, you never know, man. I mean, it really depends on how you come into 121. That's how this thing is being set up right now. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading down 373. The Nasdaq's off 76. S&P's off 37. Stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk party, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? 
Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrial is off uh, 377. NASDAQ's down 72. S&P's off 37. Uh, so let's go percentage-wise out here. So we have happening... Uh, it seems like a flat market can be the volatility we had, but percentage-wise out here, the Dow is taking the hit. The Dow is down 1.2 percent, and Nasdaq is only down six tenths. The S and P's are off uh, 0.98. And if we get into, let's go into the Dow Industrials first and take a look at the strength versus the weakness inside here. Point-wise, this is what we have out here. Uh, putting positive points. Look at this. <laughs> the only thing that's trying to hold the Dow up is Chevron. Chevron's putting 18 positive points. Caterpillar three, taken away from it. United Health minus 57, Goldman 31, Big Mac 27, 25, all the kind of small numbers going across. NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness inside the NDX 100. We take a look at that. The strength is Doxcom, that's up 2.2%, Dexacom, really. Uh, Netflix 1.6, Zscaler 1.6, taken away from it. Splunk down 5%, you get Lucent off 3.4, DocuSign off 3.6, and uh, XL. Energy down uh, 3.4. What's going on with XL Energy? Let's see if this is happening. So you get XL Energy, the low is 61, the high 77. That was established the 12th of September. Wow. Let me look at this. For energy going higher, what the heck does this do? Okay, this electric natural gas services company offers a variety of uh, services, including generation, transmission, distribution of electricity and natural gas to... Uh, the United States, man. This is, you know, for being an energy stock, this thing's getting toasted, man. Look at this. Something else is going on in that. They must, uh, either, they're either buying too high and it exploded on them. Something's going on there. This is just, that's just, yeah. Some of the higher volume equities out here. Let's go take a look. I don't believe we're going to have volume out here either. Yeah, we're not. So you get $540 million right now in the NYSE. And the composite, we're dealing with 3.3. Uh, now, you, you might you get 4.2 or something. Some of the other higher volume equities in this market that we have right now. Let's go put a second. Go like this. Okay. This is what we have. Uh, what is this? Come on, yeah, there we go. Okay, so we have uh, Apple down one. You have uh, Tesla off uh, a buck forty. 
Exxon's up 249. That's going after that high. He's taken out the swing today and has volume on the swing. Uh, Alphabet's up 23 cents. Let's get over. Let's go take a look at. Uh, let's go take a look at the oil market. So the oil market is getting a lot of action. There's no doubt about that. Bottom line, OPEC is cutting back. Um, you know, the P said, man, this is not. A, this is not a strong um, chart for the oil market. Uh, let's pull this up. Are you going after this? The 89.65, 63 is the swing. You got a big drop off today. Yeah, listen. I suspect it's going to, it'll get to the swing. But this is not pushing in to the swing like it should be. Uh, now, I'll show you, like when you go to ExxonMobil, um, you know, this is pushing into the swing how you want it to push into the swing. Take a look at this. You know, you got the, the swing point here has uh, 23 million shares and you've already done 23.4. You know, the high that if you're into Exxon, right, what you got to keep your eye on is this, is that the swing high is 105.57. And, and if that's what you get out of this, this is going to be like 100% move or move. Because if we take this, let me just do it this way. I'm going to put it on this one right here. I'm going to put it on this one. Because what you, what you can see is that the, you started this run at $83, and right now you're dealing with 101. That is a monster, monster move. And, you know, bottom line is that I can see by looking at some of these numbers, we were looking at this yesterday, you can see why something can move like that, because the, the differential, like Exxon took in $285 billion last year, they're looking to take in $404 billion this year. I mean, it's pretty amazing. Um, you know, what high, uh, high oil prices actually give you, right? I mean, that's, that's, that's how this thing is set up right now. That's the bottom line. We go to the GDX. We take a look at the GDX inside the uh, gold uh, equities out here. And uh, we might have a small ABC up. This is going to be interesting seeing how this shakes out because what we do have is this, is that we come off the lows with volume. We pull back yesterday with light volume. And if we do get an ABC up, uh, the B point on this is twenty six dollars and eleven cents. You're going to need thirty four million shares traded. Um, it's twenty six. Yeah, you get about four seventy five, which is going to get you somewhere into the twenty nine dollar area. What's the swing here? Swing there's twenty seven. Next one's thirty two. Uh, right there, twenty nine. Yeah, that'll be a nice setup, man. If that's the setup, uh, what you're going to end up seeing now, if this is the setup, this is going to be really wild. This is pure speculation because the chart's not made yet. But if that's the setup, I want to see something wild here. Let's do this. I'll show you what this is like. If I do this, let me put it on a much longer one. Pull this back a bit. What you could be seeing is this will drive all of us crazy too. But, you know, I, I've said before, what has, if you speculate on head and shoulders, tops and bottoms, you can see them all day long. But that's exactly what I'm looking at right now. Because we can see this is a kind of cool head, you know? And we'll see if it shakes out. But if that's what you get, you know, then you're going to get some true action, you know? I think that the dollar is the number here, folks. The dollar, number one, is a, a problem for, you know, well, it's not a problem. Uh, it's a problem for the marketplace, the, for, for our own buying power it's it's great that the ball that the dollar is strong that's the bottom line you know when you see some of these currencies and how they got cut um you know literally you know but 30 40 percent many of them have got cut so it's pretty insane let's go take a look at the xle for a couple of the tigers and tigresses out here this is inside the uh energy business xle you know bottom line you know especially when you have when you have exxon mobil and chevron that is I believe over 50% of the XLE inside the holdings. 22, no, it's 40. 40 43. 43%. So that's always cool when you have both Exxon as well as Chevron. Chevron's got a bid today, too. So if you take a look at the XLE, you're, if you're riding this XLE, you're going to be looking at the same swing point. Well, the swing point up here that I suspect it's going to go for, let's see. So we had 82.97. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's all right. Twenty. We're going into twenty million. You're already done twenty-two. So that's saying that what's game here for this XLE is up at that eighty-five area. That's how that is basically set up right now, which is you know. It. What is intriguing is that evidently we must be at a price in oil that these oil companies can just make a fortune. Right, so we're at eighty-eight dollars. I don't know if that's a sweet spot. You know, of course, if when it's higher, they're going to make more. But you can see that investors are pushing the oil stocks, and you know, the the oil price itself really hasn't done much. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow. Dow Industrials right now down two ninety-six. Nasdaq's up forty-eight. S and P's down twenty-eight. We'll come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ADC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down at 280. Nasdaq is up 42. S&Ps are up uh, 26. If we go to, um, this is uh, Chenier Partners, I believe. Oh, oh, hold on one second. Did I just lose that? One second. Sorry. Do that. Um, I will come back to that. I'm gonna. We're gonna go over the pot stock. So this is what just happened, folks. You have all the pot stocks are flying. You can see um, Canopy just went from a price point of uh, they all exploded. Uh, <laughs> it was 292 to 373. So what just happened is that um, Biden just bottom line came out. Uh, literally to, uh, here it is. He's having a review done on the federal level of folks that have got busted with pot, uh, prior federal offenses, and he's reviewing all the pot laws. So the bottom line, maybe they'll basically come to their common senses and take pot off the schedule one, like it's heroin or cocaine, um, 
Let's see what it has to say. So, shares of cannabis companies rallied Thursday after President Biden said he would pardon federal offenders for uh, simple pot possession. He also asked the review on the marijuana's current status as a Schedule One controlled substance under the U.S. law. Uh, U.S. cannabis companies listed on the OTC as well as Cano. Um, they Cure Leaf jumped 37 percent. Tilray 22 percent. True Leaf 38. They're they're all they're all jumping. That's that's the bottom line. And you know. <laughs> That that would be uh, uh, you the thing. It, it's amazing bureaucracies, folks. You know. Well, you know what's amazing? This is what's really crazy to me, right? So picture this. I want all of us to fast forward. I, we're not going to be here, man. But fast forward like to another hundred or two hundred years, and what happens, folks, is this: is that all these laws that have been on the books are always on the books. So do you ever notice, like lately in particular, they're reaching back like 150 years to try to find laws <laughs> to basically, you know, go after whoever they want to go after. Okay, so it's pretty amazing, man. Um, <laughs> uh, and in this particular case, you know, we'll, we'll see how long, uh, you know, this, this whole Schedule 1 thing is going to last. It, it blows my mind that it's actually still out there, but it is. So... Uh, we'll see how this basically shakes out, but uh, no, no, what is it? MJ, MJ is the, um, that's the ETF structure, I thought. Yeah, that's the ETF structure. So these all took off like a rocket ship. I mean, because the, the bottom line is that I'm sure, um, you know, you're going to get a, a nice big bounce here. I mean, MJ just went from, what, 490 to $6. The problem that I see with the pot stocks in general is that it's a weed, man. I mean, you know, we can't grow it in Florida, but they can grow, grow it in Massachusetts. And I know factually that the folks that have grown it, right, I, you, supposedly, I think you have three plants apiece. And what happens, folks, is that so much pot comes off them that they, can't, they don't even want to grow it anymore, okay? So price-wise, you know, they're going to have a very hard time, you know, keeping prices where they want to keep them. That's, that's what it comes down to. Yeah, and the Tigers are saying they can easily grow it depending on what you're, you grow right in your backyard, right? I mean, so, you know, I, I can see the aspect of it's going to be some kind of a brand, and that's where, you know, you know CGC, I mean, it, you know, but then it's not, not but then, but the bottom line, they got to make it like a Chevis, they got to make it like a Glenlivet, they got to make it like whatever type of booze or wine or beer that you like, you know, that that is going to be the aspect of, how they're really going to make some money on it, you know, and then people will pay up for it because it's like, if you can grow in your backyard, why are you going to pay anything, right? I mean, this sort of comes down to it. So let's go over, take a look at the XAU, the HUI. So, you know, we looks like we, we have a little start here. The, pro, the problem still is no doubt that U.S. dollar. Um, if we look at the XAU, bottom line, it's up six right now. Trading 108, you know, so the cool thing here, so check this out. Now, this is the cool thing. You don't have to step into these right now because what you have is this. All of these ABCs that are set up, folks, inside the metals market are big ABCs. You know, if we look at the XAU, you're talking about 110 and a quarter. Yeah, you're talking about 20.A to B, which would bring you up to 125. So you can see, and the B point on this is 110. So watch how this works. Now, when you're dealing with an ABC, what ends up happening is that an ABC up has volume on the way up. I'll put this up so you can simultaneously see as we're doing this, okay? You have volume on the way up. You pull back with light volume, and then you have more volume on the B point as you're taking it out. And in this particular case, the B point that we're talking about has 30, 35 million. So on Tuesday, we did 35 million. Yesterday, we pulled back with 29. That's what you'd love to see. We haven't hit it, okay? So as you hit that point, let's picture that, you know, because this is really not like buying a breakout. What the difference is, is that you have a price projection that you can have, meaning if it's taking the B point out, taken out with volume, there's going to be a lot of spread here because of the fact, and you don't get this a lot, that you hardly had any type of true, true, true tracement. When you don't have a, 
type of retracement, and the A to B leg is long, which is pretty cool. You know, you're talking that we said it's a 20 point, right? 20 point is at a, a 125. So it's, yeah, I put it right, 125. That's, that's the XAU. We go to the Gold Bugs Index. Now, this is going to be monster because the Gold Bugs Index is, is just larger. So in the Gold Bugs Index, you know, you have the, the B point out here is 211, 212, actually. So you got, uh, what do we got, 28, 38, 40, get you 240. And right now you're at 207. So what you're going to need inside of the Gold Bugs Index, same type of setup. You know, you can see that that high, the B point there had 29 million. We pulled back yesterday with 24. The B point itself is 211. So if it's breaking through there, there's a couple different ways you can trade that, meaning you don't have to trade the actual indice. What you could do is you could trade the biggest, uh, the strongest equities inside of the indice. That, that's, that's another way if you want to go into the individual equities. That's how you can get into those individual equities, and that's how you trade them. Let's go take a look at the notes and bonds. So the notes and bonds right now, the 10-year note, you know, we started the program out. You can see there's a big seller, man. Whoever the seller is, you know, you can see they, they threw everything at it, man. Now, the, the cool thing is that they, when they threw everything at it, they only got it down, well, no, they, they did. They, this, so, this is really cool, man. You see that? 60,000 contracts. Let me put this. I want to see if the, this, they were trying to break the market. Here. USZ. I want to pull the 30-year up simultaneously. Yeah, it's in the 30, too. No, not as bad. Yeah, it was in there, though. It was in the 30. They haven't been able to break that yet. Um, you had the... We had so many Fed governors come out today, it's pretty intense. And we get back, we'll talk about it, because uh, Evans just came out, folks, and the bottom line is that he's looking for... Now, this was actually... It looks to me like this was actually kind of uh, dovish... But he wasn't pushing it as dovish because he was saying that the aspect that he thought the Fed's fund rate uh, would be 4.5 to 4.75 um, by early 2023. So the real question is, what's early 2023? Because right now, we're at 3 to 3.5. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC Capital Market Assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. 
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down uh, 330. NASDAQ is off 52. s and is off 31. Let's go over to Tesla and take a look. We got a couple uh, uh, Tigers out here, Tigresses with uh, Tesla. So uh, Tesla right now, let's take a look. So... The low for the year is 206, the high is 414. Okay, so first we have to, here, let me put this on a weekly. Because you had volume on this break downtown, which is not good. You broke the swing with 326. Versus, yeah. So here, yeah, I have this on a weekly right now. So this wants to go to the bottom of the consolidation, which is that 206. So you got to be careful here because, see that, not this week. This week you did, uh, well, this is heavy, 358 million already. Last week you did, they're unloading Tesla, man. Okay, see this right here? You done 358, and we got a day left. You broke, you were pushing into the last swing. The last swing only had 249. You pushed into that with 320. You broke it. That's saying that Tesla wants, wants to come down to this uh, 206. So you got to be careful with Tesla. And Elon Musk, just come out, folks. Um, now, the, the, the good old Tigers gave me this, okay? But this is pretty cool, folks. He's got a new model. It's going to be called the Reefa. And it's going to have a 420 horsepower, big time. And what it's going to be powered by, you know, it's going to be powered by good old weed. <laughs> Sick. Well, there's all those sick tigers and tigresses in the den. It's awesome, though. <laughs> you know you know what's so funny about this? I bet you're going to see a tweet from, uh, you know, Musk. Because you, you know that the, the, the TW, yeah, let's go to Twitter for a second. Because if you don't know this, folks, okay, you see that bid? Okay, this is all subliminal stuff with him, okay? But the bottom line, his bid is 5425. 420, and 420 is the time you smoke pot. You know, I don't know who came up with that, but the bottom line is that that's what it, that sort of symbolizes. So in Tesla, 5420, you can see you had the big price spread yesterday, $42 up to 52. Today it traded uh, $50.22. So what's going on with Tesla, it's got, what's going to be intriguing here is the aspect of when this happened yesterday, there were a couple funds that came out that said, hey, listen, we haven't even talked to him in three or four months, you know, about the deal. That being said, folks, okay, when Musk calls, they're, they're going to want to do business. The reason they're going to want to do business is they know that uh, the bottom line, it's more than just a one-trick pony. Uh, you know, Kevin Hinks, if you, if you haven't listened to the show um, Fast Markets, and it's all about options, okay? Uh, great show. And Kevin and Tom White, I mean, they're amazing how they can put strategies together. Uh, something that Kevin had said yesterday I thought was just so cool. It was unbelievable. Because we've heard this so, so many times in the press about that, you know, that must 
turned around and, you know, didn't have plans and didn't know what to do with Twitter and all this. And he says, and it's so true, he says, okay, so someone like Musk doesn't have plans and he sends, you know, his, you know, rockets up in space. Yeah, it's not even close. A guy, a guy like him can probably make plans, folks, in like, you know, five hours on a few napkins. I mean, it's, it's the classic, you know. You get the gist of it, man. He, he definitely has plans. Um, I think he, you know, stepped in more than he wanted to step in, but then what ended up happening simultaneously is that he didn't want that discovery. Discovery uh, for someone like him would be a real problem because what happens in discovery is that you can get into anything and everything, particularly because when I say anything and everything, I'm talking about the finances of anything and everything. And that's what he didn't want people digging into, for sure. Because then it would be on the record. That, that's a whole different ballgame. 877-927-6648. Let's go take a look at a few of these steel stocks. Actually, we'll st oh, actually hold on. Is it No, CF is a fertilizer stock, I think, right? Yeah, so let's take a look at so Look at this. This is cooking. So the lows 55, the highs 119. This is CF Energy uh, Industries. Okay, so that's too very close to an ABC up. Nope, you need 900,000. It's not a bad start, though. You're at 106. It's going to try to press into the, into the highs up here. Let's go see what Mosaic is doing. Mosaic right now. Not much. Up 32 cents, trading 51.41. You know, a lot, a lot. We're, we're in inflation, but I can tell you, there's, there's disconnects. So last night I went shopping, right? And I hardly ever go shopping. And the meaning for clothes, right? So what ended up happening, right? I'm in Nostrums. I'm in Nostrums. And man, I'm looking at these clothes and I'm saying to myself, like, you got to go work for a week to buy a pair of pants now. I mean, it's like crazy, man. So bottom line, I buy a couple pairs of jeans, right? And, you know, depending on how long you've been listening, if you remember, when I started the Gold Report, okay, um, so it's 2001, I couldn't even buy any clothes because what was happening at that particular point is that, like, that's when, you know, even pants were only like 30 bucks or whatever, right? But I would add it up and say, hold it, man. I, you know, 10 pants, 10 pants, because gold is only $282 an ounce. I'm saying to myself, 10 pairs of... Pants is one ounce of gold. Why am I going to buy a pants, man? I got to save my money and buy gold, right? So the bottom line, that did work out very well. Now, this is just the opposite of what's going on. Meaning, no, it's just the opposite. It's the same thing. When I was there last night, man, I'm saying to myself, it makes zero sense. They, they have jeans in Nordstrom now, okay, okay? The cheapest ones, I think, were $110. There were plenty of them was 200 For a pair of jeans. A pair of jeans, man. I mean, <laughs> Okay, so here's my point, though. Then I start thinking, you know, like right now, the last houses I sold, they're close to a million. And, it, you know, so it's like, that to me, that's still, that's really expensive, affordability. But then I'm thinking, well, if a pair of jeans is 100 or $200, man, okay, these prices have a lot further to go. And then, the, you know, when I was cashing out, there was a guy in front of me, and... Um, the lady, he had said something to the lady, and I didn't care what he said. But she said that, yeah, she says, three quarters of this floor are overpriced. That's what, that's what the clerk behind the counter said to the gentleman. And, of course, I'm right behind him. And that's how I felt. But the bottom line is I needed a couple pairs of pants anyway. Um, you know, so there's disconnects out here that are really big, meaning, and these clothing manufacturers, man, let's go look at Nostro. I want to look at because I can't pitch them making money, man. Well, <laughs> they might be selling some product, but you're not, you're not going to sell a lot of product uh, at those prices. Not even close, man. I mean, it's crazy, man. It's like insane. 877-927-6648. You have the Dow. Dow Industrial's down at 329. NASDAQ is off uh, 68. S&P's down 34. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Sit down. Dow Industries down 331. You get the NASDAQ off 73. S&P's off 36. So let's go back to the dollar because the, the question is the uh, if the dollar does go to 121, what will happen to commodities? My take, commodities will get hurt. Price the price in dollars, bottom line, it goes to 121. Everything is going to be at lower price except the dollar. Now, that being said, because of the story that I just told of the aspect of, like, <laughs> what's going on retail-wise, um, I can't see commodities not staying substantially higher for a long period of time. And the reason being, folks, is this. You don't need pants. You need commodities, Okay. I mean, you can throw anything on, right? But, but the bottom line, you need commodities. So that, that's kind of what I was getting to and more so out of what I was looking at last night. I'm saying to myself, okay, if jeans go for this much money, and they didn't have any Levi's, by the way, but I'll go look at, at uh, I, I like that JW rack or whatever that is. I, there's no doubt about it. They, you know, anyway, um, you get the gist of it. So even if it gets to that level, well, then, you know, at the beginning, of that rise, you'll see commodities will get hit. As soon as it backs off, you know, then you'll see commodities go higher. See, the, the way that I think this is gonna shake out is that we had the expansion of about 30%, about, now it's about nine months ago, right? And it seems like everything went up 30%. Now they're talking seven or eight, whatever they're talking about. Man, everything we use is like up 30%. That's not gonna go down. It's gonna back down a little. The real question is, is we hope that it doesn't accelerate up. And then what's going to happen, it's going to be this, getting rid of the stuff 
that the people are gouging versus the ones that aren't gouging. And I think, you know, the, when you ask that type of price for, you know, a pair of jeans, they're gouging, man. You know, and people won't buy them. You know what I mean? That's, that's what it comes down to. You know, I mean, that's, that's my, my take of the whole deal. So if we get over and we take a look at these markets, what you're going to look at here, you get the SPY. I think we got a failure just about everywhere. Yeah, you get a failure. You're, you're down 320 in this. Uh, look, at the, look at the volume, man. This contraction is insane. 71 million versus 88 yesterday versus 103. Always remember, folks, the bank can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 in the morning. Great show, folks. Bill